SSA's architecture. Tell me the beginning and the end of the trip. You'll understand everything we talk about in the following regarding SSAS. If you only understand the architecture of the SQL Server Analysis Service, which is pretty straightforward. This is why it shows it in the first part for your entrance to the world of SSAS. The architecture tells you where the starting point is, what is done during the journey, and which tools we take advantage of to reach the final desired destination for us, technically, and the customer in terms of requirements. As you can see, this architecture is made up of four parts. It starts from the data source, and some tasks are carried out along the way to reach the final stage eventually, which is delivering the project to the customer. We'll talk about each of these layers separately in the following slides. As you saw in the previous figure, there's a series of data we're gonna conduct some analysis on in the beginning. This part is called the data source, or OLTP. These data might be in various formats, such as Excel, Access, SQL Server, Oracle, and so on, and may be scattered. So, in the beginning, the data must be cleaned using specialized ETL tools, such as the SSIS tool, another commercial intelligence service from Microsoft similar to the SSAS tool, and put in a data warehouse, or DDO. The data collected from other sources must be analyzed, so these data will be put in an analytical database. This type of database is called an OLAP cube. Now everything is ready for the customer to access this analytical database through specialized applications. Customer applications such as what? Such as Power BI connects to our analytical database, which is the cube created in the previous step. It reads the data from there and displays them to the user in the form of beautiful management dashboards. Or we can connect a Windows application to it and display the data as a Windows application. Or we can display the output as a web application, mobile application, or anything the customer has asked for. This part is no trouble for us and is easy to carry out. We'll talk about all these. Don't worry and move forward step by step with me until the end of the training. Are that okay, friends? So this is the whole SSAS architecture, and we figured out what needs to be done in an SSAS project. What's the point of entry? Where should we start the work? What should we do at the heart of the work? Where should we store the results? And what should we eventually deliver to the customer? Now let's go and learn about each part of this architecture in detail. Are you ready? So let's go.